plus a war between protesters and the Church of Scientology tonight. Part two of our interview with a former Scientologist who claimed she was abused for years. It's a story you'll only see on News Channel 3. It's 11 o'clock. Time for news. Now from the desert's news leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD at 11. Hello, I'm John White. And I'm Tamara DeMonte. News Channel 3 continues its investigation of the war between the Church of Scientology and a group of activists known as Anonymous. In our last investigative segment, News Channel 3's Nathan Baca talked to one former Scientologist sharing her account of years of abuse inside the church. And Saint Nathan is here with more on this investigation you will only see on News Channel 3. Nathan. John, child labor and coerced abortions. It's a chilling inside account of what a growing number of former Scientologists are saying actually happens inside their local headquarters. I was actually one of the older ones at 17. There were 13 year olds, 12 year olds. There's this one kid, 12 year old, he got given an executive responsibility doing something and he had a complete nervous breakdown. This is how Maureen Volstead spent her teenage years, making videos for the church. Looking at her social security tax form, she says nobody ever told her about minimum wage. I was taught to lie, too, to, to officials. Like whenever I had to fill out a, uh, a workers' comp claim form, they ask you how many hours do you work a week, and I was told to put 40 hours. So you were told by management to lie on official paperwork? Yeah, by the legal director here. It's like, don't put... Don't put how many hours you really work, just put 40 hours. And nobody ever told her about the facts of life. If a woman gets pregnant and does not abort the child, then they are declared a suppressive person. Why? Because uh, it's, it kind of started out gradually. The first thing was that uh, the Church of Scientology International did not want to pay for child care. There are two versions of the truth here. The church says it is one of the fastest growing religions with 8 million strong and growing. But a Trinity College religious census shows only 25,000 Scientologists in the United States and shrinking. The Church of Scientology wants everyone to believe every former Scientologist is lying about their years in the church. They want you to believe asking questions. This is about the fundamentals and in the practice of your, This is not about the fundamentals of your belief, though. This, well, this the thing, here's the, the, here's of, the thing. Here's of, the, of thing. the soul. Right. It was furthering a negative agenda. And you're just forwarding an agenda of, uh, of hate. They want you to believe their church is like any others. Never mind, they have an extensive intelligence department with training documents on how to misdirect journalists and actually have a training routine on how to lie to others. So if Scientology's point of view is correct, Maureen Bolstadt is one of the worst people alive. The church declared her a suppressive person for talking to the media. Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard declared so-called suppressive people cannot be granted the rights ordinarily accorded rational beings. In Volstad's case, that includes never hearing from those she knew inside Scientology, including her own twin sister. Um, I do not know where my sister is, actually. She, her last uh, known address was here. Uh, I lost, uh, she hasn't spoken to anybody in her family since uh, 2006. I don't even know if my sister is even alive. Now, we have our full 45-minute interview with the Scientology spokesperson, Tommy Davis, on our website, ksq.com. Now, they have not returned our attempts to contact them since our investigations began three weeks ago, so we're continually extending our interview inv invitation to church leader David Miscavige. So we have some questions we'd like to ask him if he's watching online. Uh, he knows where to find us. All right. What can we expect next from you, Nathan? Well, for the next few weeks, we're going to be still collecting some information, mostly about the IRS tax exemption that the Church of Scientology has. Uh, we'll be looking to actually air some pieces within the next uh, two or three weeks or so. All right. Okay. We'll see that. Thank, Thank you. you, Nathan.